When trading pets in Roblox, the server must swap the pets between two players and then save their data to the data store. However, if one person's data is saved to the data store and then for whatever reason something goes wrong and the server is unable to save the other person's data to the data store, then only half of the trade will be complete and there will be two pets in circulation. So, how can we intentionally make something go wrong so that we can dupe our pets? Well, the best way to do this would be to leave the server super quickly when a trade is being processed and then rejoin the game again and hope that something goes wrong so we can dupe our pets. As a developer, it is essential that this cannot happen. So what can we do to ensure that this cannot happen? In 2023, when I created the game by my guy, I implemented a technique for trading where instead of saving the player's data to the data store, we save the pet's data to the data store. And each pet has a list of transactions so that the pet can know who the owner is at all times just by looking through its transaction history. And this worked extremely well. There are a total of zero cases of duping in by my guy however there is one issue roblox has a limit to how much you can save to the databases every minute and it's about like a hundred times you can save to the database a hundred times a minute for every server so this is an issue because first of all what if a player has more than a hundred pets we would need to send a hundred requests to the database for every single pet and then wait another minute before we can request any more pets from the database so that's where this doesn't work it would only work for by my guys because there's a limited quantity of these pets but for youtube simulator or youtube legends this would not work especially if there are thousands of pets for every player so that had me thinking i was like yo what am i gonna do what am i gonna do until i figured out a genius idea using amazon's dynamo d B, which is a service they have for hosting databases, I created my own external database and I call it the Indie Cloud. Every time you unlock a new pet, the pet is saved to the Indie Cloud. Whenever you trade a pet, that trade is also saved to the Indie Cloud. And a pet can only be traded once everything has been uploaded to the Indie Cloud. This allows us to know how many of a pet is in circulation and also where every single pet is at all times and also where the pet has been at all times this opens the door for external use of these pets like i could literally make a site that can where you can like see where all the pets are or where all the pets have ever been and there's a lot of things we can do with this genius technology but for now what i've done is each pet has a unique serial id and we can also see how many of that pet exists, kind of like Pet Simulator 99. And in the future, we can add more features like viewing the pet's transaction history and stuff like that. Or even offline trading, like you go to a website and you trade the pet off or like an app where you can keep track of all your pets. Like that's insane. Like there's so many things we can do with this. But aside from the database, Bases, there's a few things I've been working on with YouTube Legends. The first one is a splash screen. When you first join the game, you are greeted with a beautiful splash screen that I animated. Look at this. Look at this beautiful animation. And then there's also another animation with that's a fish spinning. And this is this is something that I'm gonna use whenever something needs to be loaded. Another thing I've been working on is trading. Obviously, I'm mentioned trading with the databases before so if i was gonna make a database i would have to make the trading part so here's what i got for trading so far when two players are trading there will be a pretty ui and it's very user friendly you can see your pets on the left their pets on the 
right you're off for on top they're off for on the bottom and in the center there are three buttons cancel message and ready when you click message the center bar turns into a bar for typing that way there's not like like there's no other fucking like thing on the screen for the message it's all in one it's very nice and neat but it turns into a little bar for typing and when you send the message it displays on your offer with a little chat bubble and it'll stay there for about five seconds and there's also a little loading circle that shows how much time you have left to view the message and when you are ready for trade when you click ready the screen with all your pets will turn green and it'll say ready and once they're ready there will be another step where you click ready again to confirm when both players are ready and confirmed that's when the trade starts to process but yeah youtube legends is coming soon i will keep you updated goodbye i'm